Hi, I'm Jenna and I work with the YWCA and our YW Kids program offers a very interesting and fun after school program for kids ages um, like around 5 through 13 and we offer uh, a very curriculum based educational program. We do a lot of activities in the summer as well as field trips and we do we take them a lot of places, zoos, but we always in incorporate the educational aspects of that into our program. So we teach them about science, math, we cook with them, we do a lot of, we do writing, we read, we have incentives for things like that. And it's just overall a really good program and it's fun for the kids and they really enjoy learning hands on with the interactive activities that we provide for them. Um, you can sign up by contacting um, YW Kids at 508-992-2332. Um, we enroll kids for after school and for our summer program, so you can always call and ask about more information for that. I'm Josh Miranda. I'm a civics teacher and advisor at City on a Hill Charter Public High School in New Bedford. Um, we are a brand new charter school who opened last year. Right now we are 9th and 10th grade. Next year we'll have 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. We offer a rigorous college prep curriculum that really pushes all of our kids to get to college. Our goal is 100%. By the time they graduate from, high, uh, from City on a Hill, they will be accepted into college. How are you doing? My name is Edwin Cartagena. I am the Community and Family Engagement Coordinator. Um, you can find lottery forms online at cityonahill.org and you can check us out on Facebook for more information facebook.com slash koanb My name is Adonis Ferreira. I'm the Director of Student Family and Community Life at the Global Learning Charter Public School and here I have a couple of my colleagues. Hi, I'm Kim Doplace and I teach grades 5 through 12 martial arts, also known as Tung Sudo. Hi, my name is Cindy Colson. I am the homeschool liaison at the Charter School. Uh, just to uh, bring to your attention, Global Learning Charter Public School is a uh, free, tuition free public school. We are a charter school but we're a public school and we serve students in grades 5 through 12. However, we're in the middle of our recruitment year. We're now accepting applications for students entering grades 5 through 8 in August of 2016. Uh, applications uh, can be received until February 29th. We also have what we call our enrollment open house which is coming up on Thursday, February 4th at 6 p.m. so we invite anyone who's interested in learning more about Global Learning Charter Public School please visit us on this day. The Charter School also has a lottery so the way that you uh, enter into the school is through a public lottery which will take place on March 3rd. Uh, for more information please check us out on www.glcps.org or you can also call us at 508-991 4105. And I'm going to pass the, the, the mic over to my colleague, which will talk to you a little bit about the wonderful Tang Sudo program which we have at our school, which is unique not only to our school but also to Massachusetts. Hi, I'm Kim Doplace, and I have been teaching at the charter school since uh, 2002. And we have a wonderful program through, from grades 5 through 12. And the students uh, come to my class every day for 45 days. Um, they can rank through the program. We have a new black belt program and the students could be able to graduate from high school with a black belt in Tung Sudo. Um, we're always looking for new students to join our club and I hope this is interesting to you. So, on to Ms. Colson. Hi, we really are interested in getting new students into our school coming in for fifth grade. So if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or go on the website. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brian Bastrash from the Bristol County Agricultural High School. I'm the Natural Resource Management Department Chairman. This is Aaron Caswell, who's also a member of the Natural Resource Management Department. And we're here this evening to tell you about the Bristol County Agricultural High School. Bristol Aggie is a Vogue school, a regional Vogue school in southeastern Massachusetts, and we serve all of the towns within the county, 
including New Bedford and the greater New Bedford area towns. And we have seven programs, vocational programs, that all students will explore to have an idea, develop an understanding about what those fields require for career paths. So we're here tonight with some artifacts from our natural resource management program. We do a lot of cooperative projects with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Massachusetts Division of Fish and Wildlife, American Chestnut Foundation and others. And what we've brought tonight are a few of our snakes. We do work on a garter snake genetics project with some regional herpetologists. But tonight we have some education animals with us. We have a western hognose snake here. These snakes are used by our students when they take our museum interpretation course, museum operations and environmental interpretations course. Uh, western hognose snakes are not native to New England, but our native eastern hognose snake is protected by law and it doesn't do well in captivity. Uh, we also brought a northern water snake. Again, this is one of our educational animals. It's not in the genetic research project. Uh, this is a clearly a harmless snake. It's not venomous. Otherwise, I wouldn't be holding it here in a gym full of people. Uh, it's fairly common in southeastern Massachusetts. And people often confuse it with a water moccasin. Uh, and water moccasins are venomous, but don't live anywhere near New England. Uh, you won't see them. So they're here as examples of some of the animals our kids work with and some of what they learn to do in their career paths towards forestry, wildlife biology, fisheries management, uh, working in uh, nature centers, museums, uh, zoo staffs, education departments, uh, national park services, and uh, any conservation science position. So as Brian was saying, we use these as our education animals. Um, we also work on a lot of projects that obviously we couldn't bring today. We're working with some rare endangered fish that we're doing some breeding projects with. Um, our students get to go outside every day. I took stu students snowshoeing this morning. So it's a really great opportunity, especially in the natural resource management department. But there are six other programs. We offer large animal science, small animal science, agricultural mechanics, floriculture, arboriculture, and landscaping as career paths that students can explore. So the Bristol County Agricultural High School has a pretty significant social media presence. Look for us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and you can contact the school. If you're interested in applying to the school, contact Barbara Mello at the school. The phone number is area code 508-669-6745. And check out the school's website at BCAHS, Bristol County Agriculture High School. Dot com. Hi, I'm John Martin. I'm the headmaster at Nativity Prep School, which is an all-boys independent school in downtown New Bedford for grades five through eight. Uh, as I said before, this is a tuition-free uh, school. It's really for students who uh, want to learn uh, really to get into a better high school, uh, boarding school, day school, independent school, cow. Uh, college prep school and uh, what we're trying to do is train the kids so that they can prepare themselves for that uh, college experience. About 99 percent of our students graduate from high school and about 75 percent uh, end up going on to college and we actually follow them through college and this is our principal Mr. Jay Goldrick. In order to apply to Nativity Prep, we'd love to have you come on down to the school. We're open uh, during AHA nights um, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. and we will have an open house on Thursday, February 24th, um, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come on down, you'll get a tour from one of our great students and pick up an application I can run you through the process from there. Our students have classes of about 12 to 15. Uh, students in every class. The school only has 53 students in its entirety. So this is a small school, highly structured, begins at 7 in the morning, ends at 6.15 at night with opportunities in the, on Saturday for uh, field trips and various other uh, opportunities for uh, extracurricular expression. So look forward to seeing you come on down to see us and come to one of our open houses. We're open every day. Okay, so I'm John Carvalho. I'm the Community Relations Manager for New Bedford Public Schools. And this is Jane Jacobson, the Academy Coordinator at New Bedford High School. 
Uh, we're really excited to be at the 2016 School Choice Fair. Uh, we recognize that while we are the default public school district for New Bedford, parents do have a choice and we want to showcase everything we have to offer at New Bedford Public Schools. And over the past three years, we've been undergoing an ambitious reform agenda with new curriculum and a lot of innovative practices at all of our schools. And what's really exciting as students are looking to go, whether it's from elementary school into middle school or middle school into New Bedford High School, we have so much to offer. And really exciting is the kids who are looking at New Bedford High School now have so much more opportunities at the high school that are very new to New Bedford High. And those include the academies, which Ms. Jacobson can talk about. They include the widest variety of AP classes, uh, dual enrollment with UMass Dartmouth, Rhode Island College, and Bristol Community College. And our eighth graders even take dual enrollment courses at New Bedford High School, which is a way of getting them into the high school and seeing all the great opportunities that New Bedford High has for them. But I'll let Ms. Jacobson talk about the five academies at New Bedford High School that are part of the National Academy Foundation. Thank you, Jonathan. So yes, we have um, five academies at New Bedford High School. If you come to our school, you'll be taking uh, your AP classes or your regular academic classes, but we have exciting options for electives that would involve a career of your choice. So we have an Academy of Arts and Humanities, we have an Academy of Health Sciences, an Academy of Engineering, Academy of Information Technology, and an Academy of Finance. So whatever your interest would be, I'm sure we have a spot for you where we can get you ready for the next step, which is your college education. Something Jonathan mentioned about the dual enrollment for eighth graders, it's been exciting to see those eighth graders at New Bedford High. They are so excited about the work they're doing. They're getting a jump start on their uh, high school curriculum. They're taking English and math. When they get here next year as ninth graders, that'll be done. They'll be able to move on to their sophomore English and math. So it's been an exciting option for the eighth graders. I also help with dual enrollment to the, at the college level with some of our juniors and seniors. They uh, come to me for help trying to get a dual enrollment course and we've had a great partnership with some of the schools Jonathan mentioned and we've managed to get a lot of kids into dual enrollment while they're still at New Bedford High. So the dual enrollment option is a big piece of uh, something at New Bedford High that you really need to get involved in. And part of being a whaler is whaler pride and I don't like to be competitive but in some ways we do because I would challenge any other school in the area to stack up against the colleges that our students are going to like Harvard, like Brown, like Williams College, Boston University and those acceptances are even strengthened by the AP courses that we have and other schools can't even come close to everything we offer at New Bedford High School. So I would just challenge anyone else to take a look at some of the opportunities we have at New Bedford High. Come for a visit if you're looking to, you know, if you're thinking about where you're going to high school and you want to be prepared for college, you want to be prepared for a career. Like Jane said, with the academies, it's all about experiential learning and it's about a pathway for everyone and that's what New Bedford High School is all about and where there's something for everyone at New Bedford High School from D1 athletics to fine arts and performing arts we have it all and we'd love to welcome you to New Bedford High. So you can visit our website at newbedfordschools.org you can also visit our Facebook and Twitter pages where we have a lot of information and you can always call New Bedford High School 508-997-4511 uh, to set up a time for a tour. Hi, I'm Lauren Ramos and I'm a guidance counselor at Greater New Bedford Regional Vocational Technical High School. Hi, I'm Kelly Avalar. I am an ESL teacher at Greater New Bedford Regional Vocational Technical High School. So we are a high school 9th through 12th grade. Um, for students who may have an idea of a trade or a skill that they would like to enhance um, and they can become certified uh, for those who may want to go right into the field, for those who may want to go to a two-year or four-year college or university or even a trade school. Um, so we have shops that range from cosmetology to engineering uh, to electrical, you name it, we pretty much have it and if we can't we'll point you in the right direction. 
Uh, we have wonderful sports teams that are moving up in divisions, uh, which means we get opportunities to play more schools. Uh, and for, if you would like more information, our website is www.gnbvt.edu, or you can call us at 508-998-3321. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Barbara Priestley. I'm the principal at Mullen Hill Christian Academy. Um, we are located in Lakeville, just off of 140, so a real easy commute to get to our school. Um, we are a preschool through eighth grade program, rigorous curriculum, but most importantly, we're a Christian school. Um, there's a lot of schools who have wonderful curriculum, but we feel like we are um, helping children in all aspects of life, emotionally, academically, physically, but spiritually. We want to raise up champions for the Lord. Um, the um, curriculum looks very traditional, um, would be very similar to what you'd find in a lot of your public schools, but we start each day with um, prayer and pledges. We have chapel on um, Wednesdays. We also include art, music, a couple days of PE. The older students have um, Spanish and Latin. Um, we love to do trips outside of the school. We believe with a little community of 100 students, it's important for us to be able to get the children outside. You can take a look. We have um, trips to the State House in Massachusetts, the Freedom Trail, children going to the local grocery store to learn about commerce. Um, so a variety of opportunities for children to learn and a great number of experiences. I would love to have an opportunity to give a tour or to talk a little bit more. You can reach us at 774 213 9093. Check out our website, mhca.net. Um, you can reach me at principal at mhca.net as well. I hope to hear from you. Hi, my name is Sue Masood. I'm the principal of All Saints Catholic School, but we're here today representing the Greater New Bedford Catholic Schools which are five different schools in the Greater New Bedford area. Holy Family, Holy Name, St. James, St. John, St. Francis Xavier in Akushnet, All Saints in New Bedford, and also St. Joe's in Fairhaven. I'd like you to actually be able to hear about our schools from the students themselves, so I'll let them speak to you. My name is Isabel, I'm in the sixth grade, and I really like how Catholic schools feel like a second home. Hi, my name is Ellen, and I like the small class sizes because we can have more one-on-one -on -one time with our teachers. Hi, my name is Phoenix. I'm an eighth grader at All Saints Catholic School, and I like that we can have a quality religious education that teaches us morals. Hi, I'm Miles. I'm from All Saints Catholic School. I'm an eighth grader. What I specifically love about my school is the enthusiasm, ambition, and spirit to help build our Catholic education. Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm from Holy Family Holy Names School. I'm in eighth grade. And I like that the school teaches us um, what we will experience in future years to come in, uh, in our lives. Hi, I'm Jillian from Holy Family Holy Name. Um, I like how the school it has a friendly environment with all ages from 3 to 14. So please feel free to contact any of our schools and find out more about how your child can receive an excellent education. Thank you. Staying really prepared me uh, to do so many different things uh, with my life and, and it really helped me uh, further the cause of, of what I feel like my life is which is to give same people the other opportunities that I've enjoyed and, and it's taken me to places all over the world that I, I never thought I'd be able to experience. It took me to Haiti and Honduras, uh, places with tremendous challenges uh, but also tremendous opportunities. It's not just the nice thing to do but it's the right thing to do to make sure people have something to eat and they have clean water to drink. And Stang also gave me the tools to actually make those things happen. And so without, without Stang, without the, 
the leadership skills that I developed at Stang, without the, the values that were instilled and without the tools uh, that I developed here, I don't think I would have been able to have uh, those experiences internationally. Presently, I have so many students who are children of former students. And again, that just fills me with such a sense of fulfillment. Even 40 years later, I remember their names and they're always amazed at how much I remember about them. But it's because they had a special part in my career as a teacher. And I, I never will forget them. I never will forget them. It's a lifelong connection. And that's what keeps me here. It's just a love of this school, its traditions, what it represents. There's something special about a Bishop Stang education that stands the test of time. The world has changed, the school has changed, but I think the heart of who we are and what we are as a school remains. So Bishop Stang has this tremendous group of people who made the school what it is. Great pillars of Bishop Stang, people like John O'Brien, people like Teresa Dougal, who was my predecessor. And that's a very humbling experience to, to lead the school to the future for the next generation of Spartans. But it's also a very exciting thing because I know that the foundation here has been laid so successfully by so many who have worked and struggled to make this such a great school. And we're committed to continuing to make a Bishop Stang a great school for the next generation of Spartans. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole Landry. I'm Ross Ketchke. I'm Chris Carrick. I'm Katie Long. I'm Peter Shaughnessy. And it's great. And it's great. And it's great. To be a Spartan. To be a Spartan. And it's great to be a Spartan. Good evening. My name is Cheryl Dean. I'm the Director of Admissions of Friends Academy in North Dartmouth, Massachusetts. We're an early childhood through grade eight independent school. Been around for 205 years, started here in New Bedford in 1810. Uh, why Friends Academy? Well, Friends Academy was started by the same Quaker gentleman who started New Bedford and wanted an equal opportunity school for both bo boys and girls, uh, and uh, continues today. Friends Academy continues over our 200 year history to morph into more amazing school for children, again, from early childhood through grade eight. Imagine a school where your child is challenged outside their comfort zone, uh, where we celebrate creativity in an amazing and dynamic community of 250 students, small classroom sizes, that results in outstanding academic achievement. That's what every parent wants for their child. And it's a place where children feel so comfortable that you'll see them skipping down the hallways, smiling every day, holding doors open for each other, not because they know each other, but because it's the right thing to do. Friends Academy is very much part of the community. We represent over 25 zip codes here in the south coast of Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Uh, of 20, 250 students, we have a great diversity, both uh, socioeconomic, religious, um, racial, uh, and uh, family values. But what everyone values at Friends Academy is the education that their children get. We have 65 acres in a beautiful North Dartmouth campus, and we use every bit of it. We have a ropes course in the woods, 21 elements, high and low. We have, of course, athletic sports um, on our athletic fields and inside our gym. We value the arts. Um, art and music uh, are twice a week. Physical education is three times a week. Science is uh, twice a week. And in our middle school, every student in the sixth grade takes Latin. Some people think that Friends Academy, or schools like Friends Academy, independent schools might be out of reach. But without visiting the school and speaking to the director of admissions and the administrators, you might not know what your child is missing. There is financial aid available, and um, please visit Friends Academy if you would like to visit. We are at 1088 Tucker Road in North Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Uh, contact information would be the Director of Admissions, that's me, Cheryl Dean, 508-999-1356. Again, it's Friends Academy, and please visit us online at www.friendsacademy1810.org. That's friendsacademy1810.org. We hope to see you on campus soon. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Blanca Santiago. I'm from our sister school. Um, our school is a free tuition um, middle school for girls. I'm starting in the fifth to eighth grade. If you're interested um, in applying for our school, you can call us at 508-994-1255. Thank you. Okay, back up, back up. Let me get my spotlight. Let him get his Okay, so what I learned today is some snakes, they use their nose to dig in some dirt. And here we are at Boys and Girls Club and a whole bunch of schools are representing their schools and giving out stuff. I guess I'm having fun. And I like I like the stuff that they're giving out over here. Yeah. I have a bag. Thanks for giving like, the stuff of, out that they're giving out right now. We pay respect for all these schools and maybe one day all of us will go to one of these schools. Thank you. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Because kids in foster care don't need perfection. They need you.